Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is part two of creating our rope bridge. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity engine assets. So, in the previous tutorial, we created a curve with three points, and then we've resampled it to create a nice bend in, in it, and um, we've then over here created our uh, simple post with um, some points and some rope around it with some uh, using a copy to transform, copy and transform. So we've rotated this slightly so that the rope does not patterns not always the same. And then we've attached this to our points here at, um, what's going on here? Where are we? Oh, I just need to hide that at each end of our bridge. So now what we need to do is we're going to create our rope across here. Um, so that we got one there and one at the top. So we'll do a, what we want to do is we want to get our sample, drag off of that, type sweep. And this is basically going to sweep geometry across this line. And now you can use your own geometry. Um, but what I'm going to do is use the in surface shape, use the, uh, the sort of the presets there. So you can see here now we've got our, um, uh, geometry dropped in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this in here so we can see it uh, compared to the posts and then we're just going to resize it. So we'll go to the radius here and it's probably even smaller than that. So that looks roughly correct compared to the, no not quite, three five compared to this rope. So now what we're going to do is we are going to drag a tra transform on this and snap that into our line. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift this up so that this this here is on our rope here. So um, we'll just go like that and gradually bring it up until we're happy. So say we're gonna uh, put it, get there in a minute, point four, it's too high, point three. Yeah, we'll leave it at point three. And obviously there's two ropes to this. So we're going to then go drag off of that, copy, transform. And what this is going to do is duplicate it, but move it up to however high we want it. So we're going to move that up there. And there we go. So now we've got our rope there, very simply done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this across. So we've got our both sides here. So what I will do is we're going to get a line and this is going to be our width of our bridge. And um, so this allows us to basically make the planks as wide or as narrow as we want because some bridges obviously um, aren't the same. So I've just created a line, named it width, and then we're just going to rotate it so it's in the correct orientation as we can see here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to give that a colour. So if we select it, press C and give it green so we know that we can edit that if we need to. Same with this one. If you click on curve, give that green so that they know we know, come back to those later to edit what we need to. If we turn on the points here and what we're going to do is then go copy to points, uh, delete the connection to the merge there and we're going to copy our points into there and our geometry into there. So now we're going to have two sets here. Um, so snap that in. I think I've possibly done this wrong. Yes, I've done this wrong. So what we need to do is just uh, undo that, undo that. And we need to, what do we got here? Just look in. Basically, right. So what we need to do is we want to merge those two together. So there we go. And we will snap that into there. So there we go. We've got our rope here. And that is correct. Just look in here. Merge. We've got our line there. And if we go to our width here, we should be able to slide this along. And there we go. We've got our width there. So now what we want to do is add some planks across this. So what we will do is grab a cube. So right click cube. And we are going to right just need to look at this so we want to copy it to obviously the points that are here so what we're going to initially do is we're going to just enable that so we can see but we're going to work on this so we can get the sizing right so what we're going to do is then go transform i'll spell it right transform and we're going to make sure the box is set to polygon mesh 
do two, 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 and because we don't need anything fancy for this, and then we're going to just rescale it. So we'll do um, shift it. I'll leave that as that is. So shift that right down to say point uh, two. And we're going to shift this over so it's always pushing this way. So what we'll do is we'll go to center here, go 0 0.5. Um, and then, so I'm just looking at that there. Um, what we're then going to do is get the, obviously the width of this right, which would be 0 0.2. which looks perhaps a little bit too big there. What we want, should we leave that as it is because that does look correct. So that looks right, so we can come back and set that correctly. Now what we need to do is obviously we need to control this by um, our curve, our, our line. So, so we go to width here, right click on that, go on length, sorry, copy parameters, in the transform, go to scale here, select one and paste relative references. Now, so what should happen now is when I move this, everything should move to scale correctly. So there we go. So they're all moving together. So now what we need to do is let's copy this to our points along this curve. So what we will do is we will go to our crew. We're going to copy our these two, paste them here, and then I'm just going to shift this down here just so it's a bit neater. And what we're going to do is we're then going to go copy to point and plug that in, plug that in. And what's happened? That's going to do the end, but then we'll go to the blast here and we'll just do delete to non selected. And the reason being is obviously we don't want a plank put on. The end here because usually with bridges they don't do that they the plank start there and then what we're going to do is just go to our resample here and make the gaps a little bit bigger just by doing that so now what we need to do as you can see here is the planks not sitting on the rope so we will go to our transform over here and we will just go to the translate and gradually just sit that up so that that looks correct there. And then what we need to do is create a little bit of overlap each side. So is obviously we want these to overlap the ropes um, so they look like they're being tied down. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our box here and just under the sides go 0.1. Um, does that look a bit, bit too much? So 0 0.05, yeah, there. Maybe a little bit more. So 0 0.6, and you can see that it's done each end. Now, obviously, in the pictures, uh, we had these obviously weren't as sharp, so we'll bevel, like, bevel those. Perhaps let's make them a little bit deeper. So we go to transform here and go to our scale and go, say, 0 0.7. Uh, actually, let's, let's bang that back up to 2. And also, it had some sort of rope around this. Oh, actually, they do look a bit too thick some rope around this. So what we will do is um, we will bevel this. So go drag off that poly bevel. Let's drag that into there. And what we're going to do is just add a tiny little bit of bevel to this just so they don't look so sharp. Let's get in there a bit more so we can see. So as you can see, that's a little bit too three yeah that, that looks all right and then we're going to add some rope around this or some stimulated rope so what we'll do here is we're going to drag off that we're going to create a merge and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this uh, plug that in not with both plug that in and what we're going to do is adjust the transform here so we'll set this back to one and then what we're going to do here is go to this transform we're going to clear this so right click on it delete channels so that sets it back to one and what we then need to do is just scale this right down so even more than that uh, 0 0.01 and then we'll do a try a point two 
So what we're doing here is a very simple sort of uh, rope here. You know, obviously if you want to add, you know, in an ideal world, you would have created the geometry for this. And, you know, if you're using this kind of thing in, say, Blender and create some proper little ropes and things like that. I'm sure you, you know, obviously we can do it in um, Houdini. And um, uh, as we go along, we'll probably learn all these things. So, you know, it's not lost. But what we'll do then is on the Transformers drag off, create a poly bevel. Um, and we're then going to drag off of this. I'm going to add another division in. See if we can just up these a little bit. Um, and then, so you can see there, we've got some a little bit of rope here, so there's nothing fancy. Um, and then what we're going to do is, with this, is do a copy and transform. So drag off of that. Copy, oh, tab copy, copy, trans, and plug that in. And then we're just going to slightly move this over and what we're going to try and do later on is just adjust the positioning of this so it's random so they're not all perfectly in a line um, so that's that and then now what we need to do is we need to copy and transform this over to this side so that it's always um, the obviously this is mimicking this so that when it moves etc it's all so what we're going to do is drag off of this go copy transform and then we're going to right click on here we're going to take uh, go to our width here go on to the uh, we'll just set this to one just for so we know everything's uniform uh, length um, copy parameter then we'll go to our uh, newly created um, copy and transform paste in the translate here um, so paste relevant re elephant relevant references and then we'll, at the end of this we'll go um, uh, uh, we've done that. we'll uh, just go come on minus 0.04 so you can see there that's brought it in just check that that looks roughly the same as the other side it doesn't so we're going to go 0.3 that looks correct now in theory when we move our uh, width line here this should size correctly if i do the right line and there we go so we've got our it's moving both sides both edges etc so we're happy with that so now um, we've got a very simple bridge here so we want to then go to here type in merge and we're going to plug that in and that in untick that and now we've got our simple little road bridge here we're also going to change the size of this so it doesn't look so crazy um, so there we've got our little road bridge now so what we can do with this obviously is we go to our curve here um, turn on our points go to our curve um, so we can click on that now we can drag our bridge out you know however we want you can see there the more, more curved we make it the more steps is adding in um, we will see if we can position this these along the curve um, so that they they flow correctly um, we'll probably look at that in the next tutorial as well as texturing but you can see here that we've got our um let's come out of that um, our bridge here and um, it's very obviously you can see how handy this can be because we can scale this to however long we want it so just an example we'll go back to here again uh, click on it click on that and we can go doo -doo 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 -doo. so suddenly we've got all of these very long bridge that you know obviously proceed is sort of simply procedurally adding these and um, we'll also look at seeing as knocking these off center so they're not all spot on you know you can even do like we said that just by accident you can do curved you know it's sort of a, sort of I guess at the moment um, because we haven't got these positioned along the curve they're more uh, currently a bit more like steps so you can see there how that could be pretty cool you know for, for something and um, say an old temple or something like that so what we'll look at in the next tutorial is see if we can position these along the curve and then knock them off center and maybe have some textures and see if we can figure out a way how to create a geometry that's basically filling in along here to give this sort of rope posts uh, in a way so if that's been helpful please do like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial